One photo doesn't mean one look. I'm creating three distinct edits from the same raw file in On One Photo Raw to show you how flexible your workflow can be and how easy it is to switch between looks to find your favorite. So before we jump into creating our various styles on this photograph, let's actually just do a very basic edit of the image and then we can jump into styling and I'll show you how you can access those various styles really quickly and easily. So for me, I'm gonna go into develop first. I'll use my tone and color section. Let's just use this on one landscape profile there. See, it does a really great job of just adding in a little bit of punchiness into the photo. I'll add in just a little bit more contrast. And then I'm gonna pull up on my midtones a bit so that we can see some of these darker details within this initial rock formation. Now I like what my foreground is looking like, but my background sky is a little bit too bright now. But that's an easy fix though. Let's just head into our local adjustments here. And I'm going to add an adjustment directly into my sky background. I'll just choose sky. It's automatically going to create a mask for us. I'll hit O on the keyboard to view it. And does a great job of targeting that sky within the background. Now for me, I typically go down to my tone section when I'm dealing with skies and I'll modify the exposure. You can even bring it back quite a bit actually. I'll add in a little contrast. And then what I like to do is I'll bring back whites. So I'll just bring back some whites until it appears natural. And then I'll turn this off and on here. And there we go. We got a nice detailed sky that looks like it was the one we wanted when we captured the photo. Now there's this section over here where it's not quite masking in that little separation between those two rock formations. So what I typically do is I'll just grab my masking brush by hitting B on my keyboard and I'm going to go up to this option here, this perfect brush option. I can enable that and that's going to target specific tones so that I don't paint outside the lines, if you will. So I can just target this specific area where it's not actually creating that mask for me. Now I'm going to use paint here so that I can paint this adjustment into this area. And I'll just paint this in a little bit there. Paint it in on the bottom. Make sure we got all these areas covered. Zoom out. And there we go. It's doing a great job of modifying that sky for me. So let's just check out the original. And then after. So now let's create those three different unique styles in the photograph, and I'll show you how to use snapshots to save those styles and quickly access them while you're editing the photo. So let's go into effects, and let's first just create a nice black and white style for the photo. I'm gonna add a filter. I'm gonna use black and white. I'll go into my styles section. I'll use this more menu, and I like to just browse through these to see what works for my photo. I actually really like this Chrome option. Let's add on one last filter. Let's use a border. I love borders with black and whites. And let's use this fit image slider to just make sure that nothing's cut off on those edges. And it's looking great. So now let's go up and let's go into our snapshots here at the top right of Photo Raw. And I'm gonna add in a new snapshot and I'll name this black and white border. Let's now create another look. I'll just reset my effects tab. And let's just use a nice cinematic color grade. I'll go into the more style section. And I really like these sort of warm feels on these desert type images. Let's use this one. And I'll just name this warm color grade. And then the last one here, let's maybe add in a couple filters into specific areas. So first things first, let's add in a nice glow into our sky. Make it a little bit darker there. Nice contrasted glow in the sky. And then let's add in dynamic contrast into our foreground using our masking options to create it with a depth mask. The reason I wanna use a depth mask here is because it's going to target that foreground rock formation first, make it the most detailed, and then the mask is going to fall off in that background section. Let's make it a little bit more intense there with Surreal. Turn this off and on. 
and we got some nice detail and glow in the background. This can be our just basic contrasted and glow look. So let's just make a snapshot for that. We'll just name this contrast and glow. So now we have our three different snapshots here. And while we're editing the photo, if we want to go back into those snapshots and view that look that we've created, maybe to compare, we can just go up here and click on them. It's an incredibly fast and easy way to create various styles on your image and toggle between them to see which one you like the best. My favorite probably has to be this black and white border. I think it looks really, really nice here, especially with these textures and details within the rock formations and even in the sky. So I'm gonna choose that there. One last benefit from using these snapshots is that if I go out of the image, if I go back into browse and I'm editing other photographs or I'm dealing with other images, projects, you name it, once I go back into that edit, it will actually save those snapshots there for me so I can readjust the style or the look if I need to. So that's how to create three different looks on a single photograph and use snapshots to quickly toggle through those different looks and see which one's your favorite. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks using On1 and On1 Photo Raw.